people on Orkney and also on the northern tip of mainland Scotland, they constructed these very distinctive types of chambered tombs. Uh, they have these uh, very distinctive upright stones which are called stalls and they sit within a larger chamber so they differentiate components of the chamber and as their name suggests these were burial monuments for people in the early Neolithic. So these probably date to somewhere around 3600, 3500, something like that. Um, so they're some of the earliest forms of monumentality in northern Scotland. There's a large number of uh, early Neolithic settlements now known uh, on Orkney in particular. And in terms of this particular monument, we've actually been excavating an early Neolithic settlement about a mile and a half away at Catasand. So in this instance, we've actually got the chambered tomb and the settlement where people were, were living and those are more or less contemporary. So it seems very likely that the people who were building this monument were the people who were also living in the settlement at Catasand. The landscape's quite different from, it was, uh, from, from how it was in the early Neolithic. So sea levels are a little higher now. So the coast would have been further away. So while at the moment this site is eroding into the sea, it would not have been in this position back in the early Neolithic. It would have been a coastal site, but it would have been on a headland looking out to sea. Uh, Catasand itself was again completely different, um, so that's changed quite a lot. So actually the landscape was really quite different um, up here on Sandy. And the other key thing that's missing nowadays are trees, so it would have been an, a wooded environment in the early Neolithic time since one of these monuments has actually been excavated. So the last excavation of a, of a site like this was in the 1980s and since that point um, there's a whole series of really important uh, developments in archaeology relating particularly to scientific analyses and getting more information out of the material that we find in sites like this. So just thinking in terms of, of human bone, We've made great advances in osteoarchaeological techniques and understanding different taphonomic processes in terms of how bones got into the positions that we ultimately excavate them from. You, know, you can also get quite a lot more information from those bones when they are excavated. So we have techniques like stable isotope analysis, which will tell you what people were eating. And also very recently, um, there's been quite a lot of work and development with uh, extracting ancient DNA. And that's really radical rewriting our understanding of this early Neolithic period. So there's been a huge number of scientific developments um, since the last one of these sites was excavated and so we're hopeful that we'll be able to find out an awful lot more from the material that we excavate and at the end of the day sadly this is a site that is slowly disappearing into the sea so we're extracting this information before it is basically lost forever.